Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and a very happy new year. I hope you are doing well. So what do I talk about today? The topic is don't try to find your worth in the wrong places. For someone like me who tried to find her worth in places which absolutely didn't see her value, lived my entire life believing that I'm worthless. Lived my most of the life believing that I'm defective and something needs to be fixed in me. Surprised? Yes. This is my truth. And uh, so I thought it's important to be vulnerable and talk about topics which really makes a difference and people don't speak about fearing a lot of things. And this is one thing which I feared being judged. Um, the kind of environments that I lived in, no blame for anybody because I understand we all are victims of victims. And so I have compassion for everyone and every being. But I will say, because this is the truth that I lived, the environments that I lived in um, were very different from what my inner psyche was. And so I easily didn't fit in. I had to mask myself. I had to um, shun my inner guidance and compass to really be seen and accepted by the groups that um, I lived with and worked with and many other things. And so there was always this feeling of vacuum, feeling of worthlessness need to be fixed, the need to be done something. And um, if you try to find your worth in wrong places where people don't value you, it's not about they are doing it consciously. It's because um, they see something which you don't bring it to the table and what you bring into the table doesn't um, hold any importance in their lives because somewhere they too are struggling with their own battles. Um, to make it simple, let me give an example. Let's say if you um, go to a corporate and uh, you work with a boss whose um, need is to feel good about himself. And so what he'll do is he or she, whoever, is going to recruit people that would satisfy their need, meaning somebody who would be not very, very good, somebody who would not be intelligent enough, somebody who would not have a lot of ideas, somebody who is not vocal, somebody who would only comply and listen, somebody who would only obey to what he or she has to say. And if, unfortunately, you land up in a space like this, then what's going to happen? That boss is never going to appreciate what you bring into a table. That boss is never going to promote you. That boss is never going to um, give you what you uh, really, really are good at. And um, that boss will never see you. And if you then are trying to find your worth in such a place, what will happen is you'll only get disappointment. You will never see that worth. You will never see... Uh, that gift, that worthlessness, um, sorry, the worth that you have in, in you and you will only feel, again, something needs to be fixed in me. And so what you're going to do is you'll forget about your gifts, the things that you're good at, and you're only going to do things which he would or she would want. And what will happen in a scenario like this? What do you think? You, will you be happy? Really? Not at all. You will always feel a vacuum. You'll always feel as if you are overdoing. You'll be exhausted. You will be not motivated intrinsically to do something. It will be a battle. And the hindsight is the more you'll try, the more you're going to fail because that's not who you are. 
and it will then reiterate your belief in you that you are defective and something needs to be fixed in you so if you're in a place like this where you feel that nobody really sees you nobody really gets you nobody really understands you instead of trying to fit in instead of trying to just mold yourself and believing that i'm worthless change the place go and find people who would really see you for who you are who would really value you for who you are remember there is not a single person on this earth who doesn't have a unique gift to themselves everybody brings something valuable to this world and our inability to see that doesn't mean that they are worthless it is our inability to see and value that so instead of wasting your time trying to fr- prove yourself in wrong places and trying to find your worth there go and find your tribe i wish i knew this long 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 back but probably it is said that one's calling is something where one has to first undergo the pain and then find from that pain evolve and then bring out a solution to that and so this is my calling authentic living and supporting people to live authentically and here let me also give you a caveat because it's not enough in blaming only others somewhere we also for whatever reasons we also accepted the fact that you're not good enough and we also didn't listen to our inner voice we numbed it so if you are in those environments where you feel unheard where you feel nobody understands you where you feel that um you are the black sheep the dark horse or whatever know that you're in the wrong place and i'm not asking you to run away from those places but just remember that if you're trying to find your worth in that place you're not going to find that worth there your worth lies outside of that zone your worth your true value would only be seen by those people who will really get you and who needs what you have to offer to the world if i go and um give something which a person doesn't need and the need of the person is very different from what i have to offer then um it's a big incompatibility and so if you have uh, lived life like me and you want to change it's always better late than never but the first step is you got to be self aware before even you be authentic and um, without being self aware you cannot be authentic and when you decide to be authentic remember that your world will be shaken upside down because first you have to deal with your inner sense of worthlessness which will be crumbled because you have masked yourself and kind of unmuted dissociated and rejected yourself for long but the choice is yours what do you like to do would you like to um mask it and be someone who you are not and feel a vacuum inside or you would stand up and embrace the discomfort the struggle that you're in and decide to be authentic so that you find that inner joy within that you have been looking outside all your life well that's it i have for today with this um insight i would like to leave you and if you like what i do say don't forget to like share subscribe and hit the notification bell and until next take care of you all bye bye